Hey everyone, there's an old expression about how fate only gives hope in order to dash it, and how if luck is a lady then her name is Miss Fortune, or possibly Nicola Sturgeon. Either way, the England team once more failed to win this European Cup, and once more it was on a penalty shootout, the irony of which was obviously not lost in Gareth Southgate, unlike the match itself. Marcus Rashford may have an MBE and he may be a passionate campaigner against child poverty and homelessness, but at the end of the day all that social outreach stuff doesn't leave a lot of time in the diary for practising penalty kicks. Two of the players that missed were actually brought on minutes before the game ended, presumably with the one job of quote being good at penalties and I really don't blame the England team for prioritising that as a specialist job but in retrospect it's like hiring a pilot with a fear of heights or employing Michael Barrymore as a pool attendant. With these sports stories, for me it's always interesting to see how the articles are instantly published on news websites as soon as the game is over, but then I guess part of writing for a newspaper is that the stories will have all been pre-written in advance and the editors are simply waiting until that final whistle in order to know which version to publish. In some respects things are made easier if the newspaper operates a separate publishing operation in Scotland, where the story about a a once-in-a-generation England victory can be very quickly edited into an article celebrating the Italian win. Another addressing point in all of this is that if England had actually won the Cup then it would have presumably put an end to the football's coming home song, the crux of which is that England haven't won anything in a long time. I'd genuinely like to know whether Baddiel and Skinner have an edit of that song ready to publish as soon as the facts change. It's akin to the argument of what is the Scottish national anthem going to be in the event that independence is achieved, seeing as how the current one only makes sense, you know, the lyrics wise, if Scotland is under the brutal subjugation of the English Parliament. Anyway, no more football for a year or so until the World Cup in Qatar. And I do have the term world in the channel name, so here's some other quick stories I spotted around the world. Uh, a man in Austria was bitten by a python this week after sitting on his toilet. And it frankly serves him right for sitting on a snake's toilet. Uh, Richard Branson blasted off into space and I wish him the best of luck when he lands and discovers that they've lost his luggage and he has to spend weeks tracking down the location of his camera. Hashtag speaking from experience. And uh, wildfires are apparently destroying vast swathes of the western US. Yet another Hollywood remake, I guess. I actually recently googled how do wildfires start and the search came back with a lot of matches. Anyway, see you next week. Find these clicks subscribe.